it all comes down to the money, it comes to the, to the economy with inflation, I mean, everything's more expensive, but the bottom line is people need to live somewhere. For the first time since 2008, the average mortgage rate rose to around 6% after spending the past few years at or below 3%. Also, for the first time on record, the median home price in the capital region hit around $300,000 this summer as buyers continued to outbid for a limited inventory. Now that is really cool because you've seen with the mortgage, uh, with the interest rates rising, you've seen a lot of the buyers sort of get cold feet and kind of back out or back away or kind of hold off because we're kind of expecting another shift probably when the market you know, kind of stabilizes probably in March. But so you're kind of thinning out that buyer pool. Higher mortgage rates and inflation, according to Tred Hulse, a realtor with Caldwell Banker Prime Properties, is limiting what many buyers can afford. The market, Hall says, still remains a seller's market, meaning sellers have the upper hand, but home prices are decreasing slightly. Mortgage rates were low, and so people were going in, maybe paying, overpaying for houses. Now you see those prices start to drift down. We're seeing more price changes daily than we have probably in the last nine months to a year. You're still going with that mindset of like, ooh, I can make a killing here. And you still can, but not as big a killing as you thought you could, because again, with interest rates, it's naturally going to drift things back a little bit. In August, newly listed homes decreased by 21% compared to this time last year, according to the Greater Capital Association of Realtors, proof that many are thinking twice about finding a new home, especially when it comes to what they can afford. In Saratoga County, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.